Calm down TV. Calm down before we shut this bitch down. Hit that subscribe button. When it comes to making music, uh, how you, what inspires you, how you get it done? You write, do you get in there and just let it flow? Like, what's the music making process? For me, it is about the vibe. Um, I love a good beat. Uh, when you when you hear that real good beat, it just kind of takes you elsewhere. It kind of just puts you in a moment. Right. But I can pretty much write to anything. But yeah, that, that's pretty much where I go with it. And then I go in the studio and it just, you know, I love being in there. It's just, it's just magic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah um, for me, it's kind of... It happens in different ways. Like there's sometimes where I might have a certain like a certain beat or a certain tune that gets stuck in my head, yeah. and I'm like, hmm, let me flesh this out, let me make it into something. And then there's other times where I might just be, you know, feeling certain emotions at the time, or right. I might have like thoughts that I want to jot down. So it's more like poetry in right. a way, okay. and it's like I write that down and I turn it into a song. So it can kind of happen either way. That's kind of my next question. Um... Like, is there a time where you ladies feel like you come, become more creative? Like you said, when you're in your emotions, maybe. But it, could it be a certain time of the day or after a certain time goes on, like after a shower or after you're full or <laughs> early morning or after a run? Like, is there a certain time where you feel like you become more creative? No, not at all. Um, funny enough, I used to... Shower. Asleep. Funny yeah. enough, I used to fall asleep when we wake up at two in the morning every morning and have a new song in my head. Mm. But now it's like, you know, with this whole new level that we're on, it's it's really an everyday thing. All I think about is new new things. So I always have something to write about. Okay. How you uh what about studio vibes? Um like to go solo, a lot of friends, turned up, sober. <laughs> what? <You see>? <laughs> <laughs> Um, actually, um, a lot of times um, we're recording together a lot. Um, we do. You know, um, you know, it's pretty awesome. Um, I engineer as well. So, mm. uh, you know, uh, Ashley does some amazing work. <laughs> um, sometimes I'm in there by myself when I'm in a zone, but, you know, it, it's it's that whole exclusive kind of thing, you know. So, yeah. you, we're usually in there together. Okay. Yeah, we. I think we definitely work pretty well together. Yeah. We, we definitely get a lot of, um, we bounce off of each other's ideas and yeah. we get a lot accomplished that way. So yeah, for us as a pair, we work really well together. Yeah. Um, me personally, I feel really inspired. I would say when I first get up in the morning, that's when my mindset is a lot more fluid and I can kind of, you know, tap into that creativity. Yeah. So like first thing in the morning when I get up, that's when I'm really like in my creative mode yeah. in general. Okay. Uh, we talked about early childhood, like, dreams and what you ladies were into growing up, but um, if I was to find some of your friends or peers, what would they most likely expect one of you ladies to do? Or ask this about what you, what would your friends expect you to be when you grew up type of deal? Um, I would say my friends, um, they definitely know, or they've always known, that I've been really serious about doing music and this has been my dream so I think you know where I am and where I'm going is exactly where they would expect oh, okay. me to be you know they would always say okay Ashley's gonna you know she's gonna be doing music she's gonna be on TV she's gonna do Broadway she's gonna do all that okay. so they definitely they definitely always knew that that was where I would be and I'm really grateful that this is where I'm going oh yeah congratulations on <laughs> what you're doing so far thank you what about your friends what are they gonna say about you yeah, my friends are interesting. <laughs> <laughs> they they honestly always knew I did music, but at the same point with my training in offices and things like that, no matter what I was going to do, they always knew I was going to be a boss or something. <laughs> so, you know, boss and music was always going to be it, and it's going to be it regardless. What's your sign? I'm a Virgo Libra cuss. Okay. I don't know that much about it. I just thought I asked you. Uh, okay. Because you talked about how you was a boss. I was like, I was figuring out who these bosses were. No, <laughs> yeah, <I think> so. <laughs> uh, any of you ladies got any special skills that, or something we might not know about? That uh, well, yeah, I have a little something um, I could demonstrate right now. Are you ready for this? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. is a pity. Continue. No. <laughs> wow. 
Like, I, I, I got to talk after that? I feel like I need to do something better. Things, yeah, most <laughs> people don't expect I think that. I'm going to clap after that. That's what I was supposed to do. Thank you so much. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Very impressive. 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 Well, how, you, how would you describe your sound uh, or the music that you make and are, you feel me, making right now? How do you just describe your sound overall? Yeah, so um, I'm definitely doing like pop, dance, EDM. Mm. Um, so like the kind of music that you would listen to at a rave or, you know, really great party okay. with all the flashing lights and everything. Okay. Which is definitely the kind of thing that I love, just that positive, high energy environment. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's just music that makes you feel good, that gets you excited, that gets your blood flowing. <laughs> Oh, uh, we're so um, we're so many artists to um, listen to. Why should they listen to you? I mean, because I'm me. I don't separate yeah. myself from anybody. Right. But um, actually, my music is very different. Um, when you listen to it, you can't compare me with anybody else. Right. I don't sound like anybody else. Okay. Um, I'm really not the Megan Thee Stallion or the Cardi B, which I love them both, honestly. But you know, you don't hear me just you know, rapping about those topics. Yeah. I like to give you bars. I like to make you feel good. I like a good party atmosphere. So, yeah. Okay. It's a little separation. You talked about uh, some of your music inspiration, but uh, if you could maybe do a feature with any artist, what's the artist you like to do a feature with? You have well, one. ironically, that's a two-parter. Um, mm -hmm. Because I would love to do a feature with The Brat and Janet Jackson, like, hands down. Okay. Yeah. Like on the same single or? I would love them both on the same single. I'd love them both separately. I, I'll take it out <laughs> there. They're willing to give it to me. I, I'm, I'm yeah. the honor. <laughs> okay. Uh, what about you? You got any dream artists to work with? Yeah, definitely. I would love to do a feature with like um, Yellow Claw and also Calvin Harris. That would be super okay. amazing. But um, really, if I could pick um, someone who unfortunately is no longer with us, I would love to do or to have done a song with Prince. Oh, okay. Like that would have just oh, yeah. been amazing. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, ladies, get a chance to travel. Of course, y'all in a different city now, but y'all <laughs> travel often or had a chance to travel much? Uh, since COVID, you know, you have to be a little bit more careful. Right. Um, but, you know, before COVID, yeah, we were always on the road. Okay. Um, you know, shout out to Ohio. <laughs> and, and, you know, we were just really busy. So, okay. half the time we are in Atlanta. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, so, um, what's maybe your favorite places I've been to or maybe places you want to go to? Um, well, I actually, I really love being here in Nashville. There's mm -hmm. just so much, you know, culture and She's not leaving. We're keeping her. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, definitely. I, I definitely <laughs> love Nashville, personally. Yeah. But um, I would also love to go, I mean, to be honest, if I could go anywhere, I would love to go to Paris mm. or just, like, France. Okay. And, you know, especially since I do EDM, like, mm -hmm. dance music, that's really big over there. So, yeah, yeah I would love that. Any, uh, where have you, lady, had a chance to perform? Um, well, not since COVID, but I'm, yeah. I've always been on stage performing. Yeah. Yeah, I've been performing for quite some time. Right. Um, got a favorite song to perform? Oh, of course. Go Wild and M.I.A. Okay. And then, of course, I got the new single called I Don't Want Your Man Coming Soon. Okay. Uh, performing. How you, you performing, uh, performing yet? Um, yeah, so like she said, with COVID right now, that's kind of, you know, we can't really do as much. Yeah. But um, I've definitely done some performances in the past, and I'm looking forward to what's coming next. Any dream stages to perform on, maybe? Ooh, like BT yes. Awards or uh, some <laughs> stadium? I'm, I'm obsessed with the tour life. Madison Square Garden. Okay. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, um, I would also really love to do Madison Square Garden, but also um, Carnegie Hall, actually. Hmm, okay. Right. Um... What's some advice that you could give to a new artist or, or yeah, somebody in your shoes or just looking to get into the music industry? Um, actually, the best advice I could give them is to stay consistent mm -hmm. and to stay humble. Mm -hmm. I live yeah. in 100% positive vibes lifestyle, but with all the people that I've come to learn, the executives that I've gotten the privilege to actually know, yeah, you are going to make it if you aren't humble and very consistent about what you do. Do not give up and stay on it and stay on your word. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I would just say keep going. Like, yeah. you know, everybody's going to have some setbacks and challenges, 
But if you're really serious about being in this industry, just keep going. Just yeah. keep doing what you do and don't let anything stop you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do y'all uh, accept uh, positive and negative feedback? Do y'all want fans commenting under stuff and telling you what it is? How should they get in the DM? How should they? You feel me? Oh, bring it on. That doesn't bother <laughs> me at all. Yeah. Um, you know, all feedback for me is good feedback. Yeah. Negative, positive everything yeah and i feel like my the energy that you bring is the energy that you feed off so you know i always get positive vibes around me anyway but yeah, yeah you do you do yeah. i accept it that means that you've watched me and i appreciate it <laughs> well you like what you think do you want fans to does it matter if they say negative stuff under this uh video so they put like even if it's like not just like negative but like say they just saying hey i think you should stop using this word should they say that in a message should they how do you give me does it doesn't matter oh well, <laughs> you know i mean kind of like what she said positive and negative feedback it's always you know you can get something out of it yeah. so i mean i welcome all of that i'm always happy to you know chat with fans and get their input because sometimes they may point out something or they may have an idea that i never thought of so right. you you never know where you can get inspiration from okay. so um so yeah definitely you know, regardless of whether it's positive or negative, I think you can always get something out of it. Any go-to critics, like after you guys make music, anybody you let, listen to, like a go-to person listen to the music, like how does this sound? Oh, absolutely. Um, everything I do uh, passes through CEO Thomas okay. um, and Robert Mayberry, okay. our music manager, and also Richard Vincent. Yeah, and basically the same thing with me, but I also pass my material <laughs> to this lady right here, Destiny Moi. She's usually the first person I go to when I have a new idea, just to, you know, get her input. And she definitely helps me a lot with, you know, working out whatever's in my brain and putting it on paper and then putting it in your ears. <laughs> yeah, she's super talented, like really, really talented. Real easy to work with. <laughs> this is Ashley Noel, rocking with Calm Down TV. So calm down before you shut this bitch down.